Good morning, friends, and welcome to Friday, July 23rd. Bev Wong starts us off with God that made us earth and heaven. Friday's devotion is from the Upper Room Disciplines, written by Elizabeth May McGill. And our scripture reading is John 6, 14 and 15. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, This is indeed the prophet who has come into the world. And when Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. All of us, perpetrators or survivors of crime, sharers or eaters of bread and fish, all of us need time away. There are many bits of scripture like this one where Jesus withdraws to be by himself. In two lines here, half a sentence there, scripture shows us that Jesus needs time alone. His work requires deep compassion, caring for individuals and crowds, teaching and preaching, arguing with religious leaders, with the disciples, with large expanses of people. In between those encounters, Jesus pulls away. Why? These are Jesus' Sabbath moments. Time away allows space to connect to God and to remember the purpose of the work that he is doing. God wants Jesus to be who he is called to be, and that's hard. So Jesus takes space to be with God just as he is. God calls us to ministry as well, ministry to the world that we live in, as the world storms around us, we must take some things away, some time away. Think of it as a shelter from the waves that threaten to overwhelm us. This break from the work enables us to avoid the trap of being blown away every time which way by the crowd. It helps us to see through the fog, to find the direction that God is sending us. Time apart cuts down on thinking. We are in charge, making the ministry about us instead of about Jesus. The crowd in this story wanted to make Jesus king. Pulling away returns him to God's image of kingdom instead of the earthly view as king. God loves us just the way we are. To be fed by that love, we need time with God alone. In the mountains, in the wilderness, by the sea, wherever we are able to get away and spend time with our Creator. This time allows us to feel God's affirmation, redirection, encouragement, and peace. Let us pray. Holy God, push us into a silent private space so that we may hear what you are sharing with us. Amen. Our closing song is the Spirit Song, verse 1. Oh, oh, let the Son of God enfold you with his spirit and his love let him fill your heart and satisfy your soul oh let him have the things that hold you and his
spirit like a dove will descend upon your life and make